Today I have a really interesting topic. This is 12 reasons why I became an art teacher and 12 reasons why I think you will enjoy being an art teacher. Number one, as an art teacher, you can help your students find their voice. This could be as simple as an art assignment where they talk about how they feel about something or how they share their opinion or just some of their favorite likes and dislikes. As students create art, they are allowed to use their voice. So I think that's a great part about being an art teacher is giving students a voice and giving them a place where they can express it. Another reason why I enjoy being an art teacher is because the art room becomes a safe haven for the kids who normally struggle in academic classes or kids who have the reputation of being like the trouble kid. Because a lot of times the issues that holds a student back in core classes is not an issue in art. So the kids who maybe don't flourish in an academic type of environment, they may flourish in an art room. So I love being an art teacher because it gives space to all kinds of students, not just the honor roll students and not just the overachieving students. As an art teacher, you are allowed to follow your passion, which is art. As an art teacher, you're able to create something new every day. You don't have to do the same thing over and over, day after day. You have freedom in what you create. You have freedom in what you teach and you're allowed to make art every day. So following your passion is a really big one for becoming an art teacher. As the art teacher, you are like a celebrity, you're like a rock star. You will be the most popular teacher on campus. The only teachers that can compete with you are pretty much um, the PE teacher and depending on school, maybe the music teacher. Usually it's between PE and art. They're the most popular teachers and the most popular classes. Those are the ones that the kids look forward to going to and you usually don't have anybody complaining about going to PE or complaining, oh, do we have to go to art? Nobody really does that. They, they look forward to art and because they look forward to it, they look forward to seeing you also. Okay, another reason why you may want to become an art teacher is because you have more freedom in the way you teach. Um, in the core classes, they are more, I'm not gonna say more structured, but they have more defined lines in how they have to teach things. As long as you're covering the state requirements and you're covering all of the curriculum, you're free to teach it however you want. There's usually not a strict pacing guide, so you're allowed to let your imagination run free. And those big ideas you come up with, you can just do them. Compared to a core classroom teacher, art teachers have way more freedom in what and how they teach. You do not have to plan as many daily lessons as a classroom teacher. A classroom teacher needs five or more math lessons each and every week. You know, they have to do something new each day, right? With art, because especially at the elementary level, which is what I teach, you do not teach five days a week to the same class. You have a different set of uh, kids each and every day. So basically, I need to have one fifth grade lesson, one fourth grade lesson, one third grade lesson, and so on each week I'm at that school. For me, I have to travel, so I'm not at the same school each and every week. Since I go to a different school every week, the lessons I do at school one, I do it with school two, then school three. I don't need a new lesson until that fourth week when I get back to school one. If you are a typical art teacher and you stay in one school, you only have to have one lesson per grade level each week. But that's a lot less than having uh, five lessons for math, five lessons for science, five lessons for geography each and every week. Another pro of being an art teacher is that there's less grades to put in. You don't have to do several subjects. You're only doing one, which is art. And especially for the elementary level, there's not that many grades you need to put in. Personally, I just do a participation grade for all of my students as long as they showed up to class, as long as they were good listeners, as long as they followed the classroom expectations, then they get S's. They will get a passing grade from me. So I don't have to put in grades very much at all. A big one that's a, a plus for art teachers is that we don't have to do standardized testing. Standardized tests have a purpose in the fact that they're making sure that we're teaching to the level we should be so I'm glad that we have them. 
but I'm also glad that art isn't one of those things where it's super stressful. We have to make sure that um, every student in school passes this test about art. So um, we don't have to worry about those things. So it's a lot less stress from that aspect. Something that's really cool about teaching art is that you have the ability to impact the students other four classes. So as an art teacher, you are encouraging your students to learn about creativity and to develop their problem solving skills. You can also integrate reading and math and science into what you do. And because you're doing it with art, it's a lot more memorable. Kids will remember these STEAM projects a lot longer than they will a lecture about science. They will remember it because art is fun. They're highly engaged when they're doing it and you can make a giant impact on their academic work through your creative processes. Cultural awareness, social awareness, um, just historical awareness, all those things are really, really characteristics of art. When artists make pieces of art, it's talking about religion, it's talking about the problems of the world, it's talking about conflicts between countries and things like that. Just looking at different art gives kids a way to approach these discussions without them feeling too heavy or depressing because it's art you know it's something that you can just relax and look at and discuss and it's a really unobtrusive way of talking about serious situations and serious problems that they may be facing or our country may be facing or society may be facing to do it in a way where it's not stressful in a way that's not depressing in a way that's very approachable a really um, fun thing about being a teacher is that you get summers off, okay? So you always have like a two month long, and you can say paid vacation each and every year because you still get a paycheck in May, June, July. You still get your paycheck. So <laughs> even though you're not using vacation time or personal time, you still get those two months off. Now, it's not perfect because you usually do PD or some kind of training over the summer. But what other job do you get two months off every year and still get a paycheck without using personal time or vacation time or any of that kind of stuff? So that is really cool. All holidays off, nights and weekends off, and uh, summers off. So that is a great benefit for being a teacher. One of the really cool things about being a teacher for me is that it allows me to be a lifelong learner. I love learning new things and trying new things. And as a teacher, you are encouraged to continue learning and getting better at your craft. As an art teacher, it's encouraged that you learn new art medium, new art history, um, new artists that are emerging. You just keep learning things so that you can keep teaching new things to your students. As a teacher, you're required to take professional development classes. This is part of the certification process, and you have to have a certain amount of hours of professional development each and every year so that you can maintain your teaching license. And lastly, one of the reasons that I really, really enjoy being an art teacher is because when you teach a kid something new and they master that skill, use that skill and and just really own it you can see how you have impacted that kid's life and it's really satisfying to see them excited about something that you taught them and to see them pass it on to friends or their little brothers or sisters or to put that in a piece of artwork that goes on to win an award it is super satisfying to teach a kid something that they can use the rest of their life. You can direct these children into an art-related career later on in life. If they enjoy art, they may go on to be a graphic designer or animator or a fine artist or a photographer. Any of that stuff because of how you interacted with them in class and the things you taught them. So being an art teacher allows you to put your handprint on somebody else's life. And I think that's incredible. It's a great responsibility but it's also highly satisfying. And you can go home with a smile on your face each day because you know that you did something positive in that kid's life. It's an incredible responsibility to have, but it's also an honor. So those are my reasons why I became an art teacher and reasons why I think you would enjoy it also. If you have any other reasons you'd like to share, please put those down in the comments so that I can see them and other people can see them. I would love to know your opinions on it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around the classrooms.